San Diego, California, also known as America's Finest City. Now, depending on where in the U.S. you grew up, you may or may not agree with that title. For me, it couldn't be more true. I love this place. I also love history. So how excited was I when I found out that a special little neighborhood in my hometown was the first European settlement in all of California and is considered the state's birthplace. That little neighborhood is Old Town. It all started back on September 28, 1542, when Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo sailed into San Diego Bay. Soon the word was out. San Diego was a nice place to be. Still, it took 227 years for anyone to come back. But on July 16, 1769, a group of explorers returned, which included Gaspar de Portola, Juan Vizcaino, and a priest by the name of Junipero Serra. The group established a fortified settlement, or in Spanish, it's called a presidio, and they constructed a mission to spread the gospel. On that warm afternoon in July, Father Serra said mass and blessed both the mission and the fort, which looked nothing like this. Believe it or not, back then, there weren't many trees in San Diego, so both the presidio and the mission were made of heavy brush and sticks, and for all intents and purposes, it worked just fine. Eventually, wood was brought in, and something a little more substantial was built. This would be the first of 21 missions established by Father Sarah that stretched up the coast. So how did we get this big, beautiful structure? I was wondering that myself, so the other day I stopped by to see if I can get some answers. Growing up, I've always known this area as Presidio Park, and today I found out the actual name of the building is the Junipero Serra Museum. Inside, I met Gabe Selak. Gabe is the Public Programs Manager for the San Diego Historical Society and was nice enough to give us some information. We have a picture of George Marston and we're really glad to have that because George Marston is responsible for the building that we have here on the hillside. Um, back in the 1920s, he realized that San Diego's history was starting to disappear and he wanted to make sure that future generations learned about our earliest history. So in 1928, he decided to set up the San Diego Historical Society and wanted to have a place to showcase our collection and the pieces that people were giving to us about San Diego's past. So he